What Tung Nagarat, the temple in the field of the Naga King, is a tranquil rural temple nestled in Nong Ya, a sub-district of Kanjanabori. When we arrived at the temple, we were warmly greeted by three gentle and curious dogs, eagerly coming over to check us out. Renowned for its striking Ubasat or ordination hall, the temple is adorned with intricate Naga statues that enhance its majestic allure. Uniquely, it features a subterranean passageway located beneath the ordination hall and accessible through the open mouth of a giant Naga head. A monk leads the way to this subterranean realm, arranged as a small chapel. The vault features a tamart, an elevated monk seat used for sermons and rituals. Here, the monk chants blessings while sprinkling holy water over visitors with a brush-like aspergillum made from bamboo. Against the wall is a row of nine Buddha statues to which devotees pay homage according to their day of birth as a way of seeking guidance and merit. While there are seven days in a week, Thai tradition adds two, one for Wednesday night and another, in Themaravijaya pose, symbolizing victory over evil, for those unaware of their birthday. The undercroft is also home to the Luknamit Ek, the prime marker stone, encased within a coiled naga. It is one of nine sacred spherical stones buried during the consecration of an ordination hall to mark its boundary. The eight other Luknimit are buried around the building's perimeter, corresponding to the cardinal and intercardinal directions, forming a symbolic sacred boundary. The Luknimit Ek holds special significance as the central and most important stone, representing the heart of the consecrated ground. In most temples, the stones are buried and not visible, but here, in this underground vault, its visible presence allows visitors to make merit by applying gold leaf to it. The tunnel reflects a long-standing Thai Buddhist tradition that views passing through sacred structures as transformative. Walking through three times is believed to cleanse negative influences like black magic and misfortune while inviting prosperity, health, and success. At the entrance at one end of the tunnel stands a moan, a massive bronze gong with a thick rim and a central protuberance, which the monk rubs with his hands, producing a deep, resonant sound. Another way to play the gong is by striking its central protuberance with a soft-ended mallet. This is typically done three times, symbolizing the three jewels of Buddhism, the Buddha, the Dharma or teachings, and the Sangha, the community of monks. Mythological snakes are found throughout the temple, slithering gracefully over the edges of the walls, balustrades, gables, and roof edges. In Thai Buddhist tradition, the Naga is revered as a powerful protector of temples and a devoted helper of the Buddha. These mythical serpents are believed to safeguard sacred spaces, their presence symbolizing the guardianship of spiritual teachings and sanctuaries. The Naga's name is further used to describe candidate monks before ordination. This practice underscores the symbolic transformation of an individual preparing to embrace the monastic path, likened to the Naga shedding its skin to signify renewal and spiritual awakening. In this context, 
the Naga represents not only protection but also the aspirant's readiness to undertake a journey toward enlightenment. A field adjacent to the Ubisot features a large statue of the hermit Pra Ong Pu Pu Chong Nagarat, the Naga guardian of Shiva. He can also be depicted as a grey-skinned Naga, similar to the one beside him. Pra Ong Pu Pu Chong Nagarat is believed to have the ability to perceive emotions and spiritual truths directly through the mind, understanding intangible aspects of the Dhamma known intuitively. Also in the field is a statue of King Tarxin, seated in a commanding pose and dressed in royal warrior attire, symbolizing his leadership in unifying the kingdom after a Utaya's fall. Nearby, the equestrian statue of King Rama V is a faithful replica of the iconic monument at Bangkok's Royal Plaza, depicting him on horseback in a European-style military uniform, representing his role in modernizing Thailand and his enduring legacy of progress. In a small pavilion, we find a statue of Jivaka Komara Baka, the most renowned doctor of India during the Buddha's time and the Buddha's personal physician. Before it are two more statues of hermits. As we leave the temple, its stories and symbols linger in our minds. Passing by the slithering Naga, we are reminded of their role as steadfast protectors of this sacred space. Even the Luknimit Ek, encased within a coiled Naga at the heart of the consecrated ground, reflects their guardianship, a rare sight we were privileged to witness, and we already feel truly blessed by this extraordinary opportunity. <laughs>